Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today on Under the Hood, we've got the 2017 Dodge Durango RT. That's the 5.7 liter Hemi V8, a full underhood tour coming right up. It's been around seemingly forever, but the Dodge 5.7 liter Hemi V8 has completely evolved from the basic roots of the 1950s. And honestly, even mentioning the 1950s really isn't fair as the current engine shares not one single part or bolt with anything dating back more than a decade. In the 2017 Dodge Durango RT, it's rated at 360 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque. It redlines at 5800 RPM, which is relatively low, but it revs pretty quickly and happily up to that point. Here in the Durango, it's mated to a ZF-designed 8-speed automatic transmission Dodge brands as Torque Flight. Yes, a 1950s marketing reference, but I didn't say it, Dodge did. The engine itself has modern-day technologies, though, such as port fuel injection. Airflow starts at a sizable air filter box just behind the driver's side headlamp and makes its way into the front-mounted throttle body through a large resonator chamber that helps get that V8 growl on. Past the throttle body, the intake charge makes it to the cylinders through a long runner intake manifold similar to the one first seen on the 6.4 liter Hemi engines. Further separating this Hemi from the 1950s is its variable cam timing which can retard or advance timing depending on engine load or speed to give it either more performance or increased fuel economy. Backing up that technology is a multi-displacement system or MDS. It uses oil pressure control to deactivate eight of its hydraulic lifters. This shuts down four cylinders during coast cruising or other times when extra power isn't needed. In this mode, the valves are closed with no fuel, no spark, and no combustion in the cylinders. When you roll back onto the throttle, it can fire them up in as little as 40 milliseconds. It's barely noticeable. When you are demanding power, the Hemi V8 delivers on its name with hemispherical aluminum heads that, while still only having two valves per cylinder, have two very large valves. Because there are two spark plugs per cylinder, firing them is a very unique coil pack that has two boots. This makes for a clean look up on top of the engine, which is manufactured in Saltillo, Mexico. Looking around the engine compartment, notable is the fact that even though this is a large SUV, it's still packed pretty tight. Things like access to the brake fluid reservoir are backed up tightly to the cowl. The battery is absent from the engine bay mounted under the passenger seat, but the cable does come up at the passenger side firewall close to the main fuse block. Just ahead of that is the engine control unit, or ECU. Ahead of that is the filler cap for the coolant, and nearby, the dipstick. Checking the windshield washer fluid will be up on the driver's side front, and just behind that, the air filter box. It's not hard to get into, as it's relatively open space here. The oil filler cap is nearby, right on top of the engine. Standing back, a nice detail here is the gas hood strut, which always beats a collapsible prop rod any day of the week. There's also a healthy degree of sound editing here too, which is why you only hear the good stuff when you mash the throttle. Well, there you have it for the underhood tour of the 2017 Dodge Durango RT. Now, we also have a test drive, and you can see that by clicking right there. And also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, because we have a new test drive every week, plus a new video just about every day. Stay tuned.